Hi, I'm DJ Lonergan, and today we're going to make smoked salmon cheese dip for Einstein's and Noah's restaurants. We're going to feature today our smoked salmon. Let's make the dip. First, we're going to take one tub of plain schmear and add it to a stainless steel bowl with a rubber spatula. Next, we're going to take one tub of our smoked salmon schmear and add that to the same bowl. Now we're going to add the star of the show, which is our smoked salmon, our lox. And I've taken one four ounce package and I've chopped it up or diced it up into about quarter inch pieces. I'm going to pour that in. Next will be some green onions, two tablespoons that I've cut up. Red onions, two tablespoons. Again, about a quarter inch dice or chopped. We have some cucumbers that I've striped uh, with the peel. Cut them in half, remove the seeds and dice them up. It's going to add a nice crunchy texture to it. And I'm going to add some fresh chopped dill, two tablespoons. If you like it more, you can add more. You can, if you like it less, add less. Same with all of these ingredients. The way I've designed this, it's a nice blend of all the ingredients that are here. Again, um, to the bowl, I'm going to add two tablespoons of capers that I've chopped. You want to chop them up so that they uh, blend in well and it's not a real strong flavor when you bite into it. Also, one teaspoon of ground black pepper. And the fish is going to be plenty salty, so we don't need to add any more salt. And then the secret ingredient also is some lemon zest. It's going to add a nice uh, acid note to that. Here, I'm going to mix this up. Combine it. Just want to fold it in. Don't want to over mix it until it's all combined into one mass as it is right now. And then I'm going to take a bowl that I'm going to mold it in and I'm going to line that bowl with saran wrap. Push it down the bottom. And I'm going to add my delicious mixture. I'm going to spread it out and fill it into the bowl. Push it down. Make sure there's no gaps. And I'm going to place one piece of saran wrap on top and really push that down and flatten it in. From here it goes into the refrigerator, preferably overnight. Um, about four hours it really needs, or if you're in a, in a jam, you could stick it into the freezer for maybe an hour or so, but you really want to watch it. So, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm now ready to assemble my smoked salmon cream cheese dip. I've taken my sesame seeds, this is approximately about a half a cup, and I've sauteed them over um, medium heat, toasting them. And uh, the only way not to burn these is not to walk away while, they, uh, while they're toasting because they will uh, burn if you walk away. I've also prepared my bagel crisp using our everything sesame and plain bagels with a little bit of olive oil and then into the oven to make them, uh, give them a nice, nice light and crispy uh, toast on them. Also, you notice I have everything ready to go, my platter, because once I start, this is where everything is going to finish. So I want to make sure I have everything set. So my sesame seeds are cooled down. Go ahead and keep half the seeds in the pan. I'm going to spread them on a tray here. I have my cream cheese assembled. And I'm just going to drop that into the sesame seeds. I want to take the other half of my seeds and pour that on top. The sesame seeds give it a nice, crunchy, earthy, nutty taste to it. And I want to just spread that all in. Give a nice coating. And here I can even start shaping it into more of a ball if I'd like. Okay, from here I'm going to grab a spatula, transfer it onto my tray. If I want to serve this with any of the other garnish that I have in there, some nice fresh tomatoes, go ahead and do that. Or even my bagel crisps. Nice idea too is to make one and leave it on the side so your guests know how to eat it. It's all finished. Your smoked salmon cream cheese dip. <laughs>